I'm Janelle Shane, and I run an AI humor blog called AI Weirdness. What I find interesting about AI is how these answers you can get back from it sometimes are things that no human would have thought of or written, things that are very surprising, things that make you stop and think about what you just asked for and what you just got back. I'm going to be talking about what AI can do and cannot do, and how it is that we can approach using AI in a productive way to solve a problem and avoiding some of the pitfalls of giving AI a problem that's just too broad for it to handle. The AI Weirdness blog was originally a blog that I set up for uh, sharing research results. But then I saw an experiment where somebody had posted a bunch of AI-generated recipes. So they'd taken a very early text-generating algorithm, given it a bunch of recipe cookbook recipes as examples, and had it generate, try to generate more examples of those. And the recipes, they were asking for like folding water and rolling it into cubes. One one recipe asked for shredded bourbon. And so when I got to the end of reading all these, of course I could barely see the screen. I was laughing so hard. And so I said, well, I, sh- I need to learn how to generate more of these. What I think is important to say about AI is to have a clear picture of the kinds of things that it does that maybe don't make it to the press releases and maybe don't make it to the marketing material. So these are the cases in which it will fall down or it'll do something weird or do something unexpected. And when we're talking about putting AI into a bunch of different applications, some applications very, that are very important are very life and death. I think it is important that we collectively, the people who are building, using, buying these algorithms, know what we can expect from them and know where the marketing material ends and where the reality begins. And I think an important way to do that is through stories, is through examples, is through uh, intuitive things that sort of stick in your mind and say, aha, this was like the time when the algorithm deleted the list of numbers rather than sorting it so that there would be no sorting errors left. I think the most important thing I want people to take from my talk is that today's AI is a narrow artificial intelligence, and it does best on a very narrow problem. And a lot of the problems we give it are too broad for it, and that's when we start to see mistakes. So the narrower the problem, the better the results we're going to get.